There are two main pests of uh, tomato, cucumber, melon and aubergine crops. I mean here I've got two leaves from the aubergine. This is the healthy leaf and here you can see the infection by red spider. It goes all motley and in a really severe attack it starts to get webs and webbing. Uh, well now I'll show you later on what we do to try and control those but uh, first of all let me get down and show you the beef steak tomatoes. Some of the latest varieties, country fresh and uh, really large fruited kinds. If you thin them a bit you'll get a tomato big enough to cut one slice across to fill a sandwich. And of course the beef steaks don't have very many seeds so if you're looking to make sauces uh, the beefsteak tomatoes are quite useful. My apologies for the builders, you know, our street is being rebuilt very nearly. But if you uh, see how many fruits one tomato will produce, we've got truss there, an enormous truss here, another truss here, up to another truss, and if you want to get the biggest fruits then you need to thin them. Uh, when it comes to cucumbers, small gives you tremendous number. I mean here with this mini munch cucumber on a grafted rootstock there's two and then here three more, five. So at every leaf joint we get little side shoots growing and more cucumbers coming right the way up and here you can see it's still growing and the little cucumbers still coming. I'll need to really uh, keep the water and feed on this plant otherwise you'll find at the top the little fruits start to shrivel. Now I mentioned the two pests when it comes to red spider then we just dust on the leaves this vermiculite and in it is a thing called phytocelius a little tiny insect that flies about and eats the red spider. Uh, so that's a good biological means of control. And then up here I've got an example of white fly. Too many I'm afraid, I shouldn't have them. Uh, and the way to control them is to use a little parasitical wasp. It's called Encarsia. It comes on a card and that little circular disc has the tiny parasitized white fly. The adults hatch from that fly out into your crop, lay eggs in lots more white fly and that's the way we reduce their numbers and in a perfect world eliminate them. You will need to introduce them twice, one lot and then a fortnight or three weeks later a second lot of parasites to do a really good job.